Scotus sounds like a pretty funny name, and if I was to tell you this name, you might have an image of who this name would represent. But I promise you, the image that you create in your mind based off a name like that is nothing like the figure who actually is Scotus, because it's much, much worse. Today, we're going to welcome our guest named Scotus. And while he's not really a special guest or anyone that has any sort of influential power, he is someone that probably has the most wild takes that I've ever heard in the fitness industry. What's up? I'm going to be reviewing a pro bodybuilder's full day of feeding. Yo, what's up? As requested, I'm going to be reviewing what Shannon Michelle feeds her baby. Hey everyone, I'm going to be reviewing a full day of feeding by the channel Clean and Delicious. Hey guys, what's up? A lot of you have been commenting on my videos that the bodybuilder Ilya Golem passed away. When I first heard of this guy, I honestly thought he reminded me of someone that I've seen on the internet from like a decade ago. That dude's name was Gatus, and this dude's name is Gotus. And I swore it was the same person, but I guess it's it's completely different. We've got a lot to go through today, and we're going to touch on a video where he talks about Eric Jananik, Jananiki, Janiki. His name is Eric Janiki. Who, if you didn't know, is now the co-owner of Greg's company, Go Harder Than Last Time, or something like that. He sells supplements, I guess. Full day of growing tumors for my family. No, oh, man. What is going on, YouTube Fitness family? I know I'm starting this video abrupt in my... Jesus, he looks abnormal. Ugh, so many veins on the stomach, so many drugs being abused, growth hormones, steroid hormones. Unbelievable. Oh, oh he even, he only has underwear on. I didn't even notice that. Why do you start a video like this? That's super strange. First of all, let's not take notice that he's only wearing underwear. This is bodybuilding and it's a highly normal thing to do. You can see this in public gyms basically everywhere if there's bodybuilders in there. And some people might think it's gross, but I would argue that basically every sport kind of does this in some degree. Fighting, sports, WWE, wrestling, all kind of get down into the undies at some point or another. This is also Eric just a few days out from a show so he is definitely looking at his leanest and most I guess different from general population people it's definitely not something he's going to be maintaining year-round even close to this year-round it's really sad uh, so many insecurities you have to be really messed up mentally really be down to go to these lengths to destroy your body it's very severe destruction okay so there's already a lot to unpack and some really bold claims to be honest that I don't entirely agree with Godis mentions that that for someone to go to this length with their physique, they must be extremely insecure and concerned about their self-image. Now, I don't know Eric personally, but he doesn't come across as someone to me who is highly insecure. However, in general, I don't think he's actually wrong here. If we just ignore what is the amalgamation of social media and look at most dudes who do end up hopping on the Sazul, a lot of them do so because they are insecure. Maybe they got bullied in school, had a poor childhood or something of that like me, which you have all of it, great bullied and everything is awesome. Super good time. Then the military, then, you know, getting adopted and man, gear just seems like a really good idea after I was just thinking about it. Jesus fucking Christ. But uh, yeah, most dudes are probably going to dabble with gear, especially due to insecurities about themselves. Whether they think it's to get them more girls, which I assure you, this is not true. My DMs are almost exclusively filled with gay men, unfortunately. Hey, Waylon. Who's the bear? <laughs> or it's because they think they need to be more masculine, most PED users, in fact, I would argue almost all PED users, start their journey out as a way of filling a insecurity that they do have, which is rarely ever actually planned or thought out. And I would also argue that it's rarely ever in the actual pursuit of bodybuilding. Even guys who are very intentional about their use can step on the scale at 250 pounds relatively lean, then look in the mirror and still see a skinny stick looking back at them. This is uh, what we've deemed as bigorexia in the bodybuilding community, but it's just globally named body dysmorphia. You've probably heard of it. On the flip side, there's also a ton of people who do the exact opposite. Obviously heavily restrict calories, trying to be as shredded as possible and as skinny as possible to achieve sort of an unnatural look to their bodies that are appealing to some groups of individuals at least. But there's also people who do this stuff just for the sake of improving their business, which I would argue is something that a lot of people actually do and that's not really in place of an insecurity. And then obviously there's one last thing that he talked about, which I think is worth addressing right now, and that's Eric is simply destroying his body. 
body. Oh my god, I get it. It's as if it's self humiliation. Uh, this is oh wow. He, that that's why he's wearing only the underwear. It's yeah, it's self humiliation. He's wait. He destroyed his body, and then he's trying to dis completely destroy himself by making the videos so that everybody laughs at him. W or what? Uh, what else could this be? That must be it. Even if it's subconscious, it for sure must be it. Look, I I'm not going to sit here and tell you that a bodybuilding prep is actually the most healthiest thing in the world because it is very far from that. Hopefully the videos I've made on this channel have shown you that at least, but I will say that responsible use of pharmacology as well as lifestyle habits to get to the leanest place possible and the biggest possible can be done in a safer manner. While it isn't the pinnacle of human health or longevity, I would argue that bodybuilders, and we've seen this from data that I've posted about on this channel before, are generally going to live longer than general population people because ultimately those general population people are obese, are unhealthy, do have insulin resistance or metabolic dysfunction at some level. At least the bodybuilders who are competing and taking this very seriously are highly precautious about their health and getting blood work every 12 weeks or so. But it gets much worse, Scotus is a very interesting character. This has to be one of the weirdest reaction videos that I've ever seen. Weird, weird. I can't even fathom how someone actually has this thought process about another person just from some very slight details. I get that everyone on the planet is not going to loathe bodybuilding. I don't actually expect that at all. But you can't seriously convince me that someone who's talking about posting a picture in your boxers is something of a humiliation kink. That is a wild take. That would mean that virtually every man who's ever had a social media and posted himself slightly exposed now has a humiliation kink. Which I don't know about you, but when I post my pictures, I don't even look at the likes or comments. I just post it and go all about my business making YouTube videos. Arguably, I look pretty good. Arguably, there's a lot of comments telling me I look good from gay men, but they still say I look good. I'm not gay, by the way. Don't try to reach out to me or ask for my underwear. Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. Anyways, I don't think this is necessarily a humiliation kink. I think it's actually really far detached from that. In fact, each post that Eric makes is surely netting him more income than our friend Godis here's single YouTube video. And if we look at Eric's actual video that he's reacting to, the comments are exactly what you'd expect for a bodybuilder. Looking crazy, bruh. Looking great, Eric. Almost there. Like sick physique, dude. So I feel like if you were right about him being shamed, you wouldn't be seeing a ton of comments like this that are actually all very positive positive about his body and physique. And moving on. All the way this cut, all the way into the hip is something I'm Stop really it. happy about. Seriously. And the legs holding on even at this low glycogen level. I literally could not be more ready to absolutely destroy the show. So without further ado, let's eat some poverty calories. I'm gonna give it away right here, 2,500. It's gonna suck, but let's get this 2,500 in. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm eating and we'll get some training clips from today. Oh my God, he's gonna be looking back at this in 10 years, cringing so badly. Oh. All right, so this there's some truth to this, right? I, I know there's definitely a handful of bodybuilders that regret things that they did in the past, especially female bodybuilders, because it changed their body, psychology, or chemistry in some way that was pretty much irreversible. What are some side effects that can happen from steroids that you've experienced? Um, so, so far I've experienced, my voice got pretty deep, body hair, click growth, obviously more muscular. Is there any way to combat that or is there ways to have some of that reverse? Uh, reversed? I, I don't think so, no. Uh, this could be so many different things, right? Hair loss or hair gain, deepening of a voice, kidney dysfunction, liver dysfunction, cardiac dysfunction, cognitive dysfunction. There's a lot of things that anabolic steroids don't do well for you if used it appropriately and if used long term. Not a big deal, right? But I actually don't think anyone's ever looked back at what they've done and said, whoa, that was cringe. Like, <laughs> Fuck me, I can't believe I did that. Because the reality is, is most of us realize that our journeys do involve mistakes, errors, and failures. I learned in the military once a great saying, which was, fail just means first attempt in learning. And I agree with this entirely. Oftentimes, even if someone tells you something, you're not going to do it correctly, even if they told you to do it correctly, because you have to fail yourself to learn the cause and effect. It's a weird thing of human nature, but it's just how it works. So it all happened here, the love of my life. Uh, you guys don't usually get to see Alina and the babies a lot in my content, but they're literally why I do what I do. So 
Um, wait, wait, wait. That makes no sense. You do it for her? And did you say babies? I will just assume that he has children. Why would you do this then? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. You do understand that uh, you're about to kick the bucket most likely. Realistically, you're on so many drugs. Your diet is pretty freaking bad. Also, could be worse, of course. But uh, the kale alone is toxic enough to shorten your lifespan by decades if you consume it regularly. Point being, how could you possibly say that you do it for somebody else when it's completely egotistical and only because of your mental issues that you do it at all? There can't be any other reason why you would destroy your body. You have some kind of trauma from your childhood or who knows what, and that's the reason you do it. It's completely over the top. You don't even look in any way human whatsoever. But to say that you do it for somebody else, completely insane. Okay, oddly enough, I'm willing to agree on a few things here. I doubt Eric is like anyone of Boston Lloyd's tier who was pretty reckless about his health. So I couldn't actually tell you if it's accurate to say that he's on the verge of death. But I don't think it's all right to say that you're in this sport for your loved ones. While it's really great to assign a selfless reason to do something, as it's probably one of the highest powers we as humans have to call upon doing something selflessly, bodybuilding in reality is one of the most selfish things you can do as a sport or a hobby. It's a hard pill to swallow, I know this, but it is very true. Much of it doesn't involve anybody else but yourself. Of course, you can have people help you cook meals and such, and it takes a village right is what they say, but it is all you. You're the star of the show. You're the one getting the followers, the subscribers. You're the one getting the sponsors. You're the one getting the benefits. Yes, some of those trickle down to your family, but it's not the same as working a nine to five job that you hate. It's something that you like to do because it nets you profit and it's something that you enjoy doing. Obviously, the sport takes a ton of sacrifice and I'm not trying to take that away from anybody. It takes you away from your family, from your friends, from eating out with people, from enjoying life as a normal person for some period of the year and it's a ridiculously expensive sport that's definitely going to dry up funds after a certain amount of time and those funds could be family funds and if it was something simple like just putting yourself into a position to get a little bit healthier and a little bit more jacked i would understand this statement but we're quite literally putting a life on the line to achieve more recognition more money more status and i think that that would be no one's wish i think that probably his wife and children would say no i don't want that if he was to tell them hey, I'm going to do all this stuff. It's going to risk my life, but we're going to make some money. Cool with you? Uh, probably not. And to be honest, that's totally okay. I mean, that's your choice. If you want to risk it all, put the bed down, double down and all that shit, by all means. I love bodybuilding. I love people who do it. I think they're tremendously amazing people. I think they're tremendously rigorous souls that have been through a ton of oofta, you know? But I don't think saying that you're doing this for somebody else, you're killing yourself for somebody else, is necessarily an accurate articulation as to what you're doing. Because you're also going to be placing a boatload of guilt on that person if you do, say, die of a heart attack or have a stroke or one of the many things that bodybuilders can pass away from. One of the main reasons I signed up with the company is because I've been using them and they're so delicious and like shakes but also stuff like this, baking. Um, protein powders are waste so, products. Do not sleep on the Seriously, protein, stop but, consuming but, them. Yeah, I also okay, so I'm not entirely sure where the protein powders or waste products comes from. It's a very interesting take. It's definitely a new one. I'll give you that. It's definitely a new one. Usually you hear something along the lines of whey is ultra processed foods and you should be eating whole foods, which is sometimes a poor argument in of itself of course if you have sensitivities to whey concentrate which is a very poor form of whey protein that could be a caveat many other things like sensitivities to dairy which arguably you're eating the wrong kind of dairy if that is a problem but these things are caveats generally speaking whole food would be considered whey protein as it's constructed from whole food if we're using the definition of a actual waste product as the definition states on the dictionary we're talking about a byproduct of something that makes or serves no purpose and is by all measure useless the fact that people want protein as a supplement makes this statement kind of void in the first place. And there's absolutely zero logic in arguing that all of this is just byproducts of manufacturing processes and are inevitably harmful. I mean, that's like saying babies are dangerous because they're the byproduct of good sex. It makes no sense. <laughs> want some like really good cinnamon is flaky salt extremely that, toxic like, you know, like, they kind of reminds you of, like when you get a chocolate deadly cookie. really cinnamon is deadly in this video so far godis has called kale extremely toxic protein powder a waste product and now cinnamon is even deadly we just need to stop eating bros this is fear mongering at its absolute maxed out limits it is turned up to 11 here you know what i feel like talking about today 
fear-mongering. While I'm all about being factual, and I will often point out things like phytic chemicals in food, which are not necessarily additive to your diet, and just because a vegetable is a vegetable doesn't mean it's healthy. There's a lot of byproducts in vegetables that can be contaminants and or awful for your health. I'm not going to tell you it's going to kill you, or it's dangerous, or it's something that's even harmful to the human body. In large doses, oxalic acids can be very harmful to the body, but that would require pretty much intentional effort to eat the large enough dose to be harmful. So I definitely think there's some validity in saying that fear-mongering certain foods can do certain beneficial things versus harmful things. I mean, we're at the point where we're even being told not to drink fucking water. People have been online asking me what water should they drink. This is my second go-to water right here, Mountain Valley Spring, because it has no sodium, it's natural. This is what I drink when I need to drink water. Everything else has sodium added, electrolytes, all that that your body don't recognize. I think it's very well and truly a horrible situation with how bad fear-mongering about dietary intake has gotten. I am all about nutritional sciences. It's what my degree is in. But I will clearly tell you that most nutritional sciences are made up BS, and there's actually no concrete evidence just about any nutritional strategy out there. But secondly, Asian countries do use a fuck ton of cinnamon in their cooking. I think by now we would be seeing a lot of them drop like flies. But again, just using a simple bit of critical thinking and logic would show you that that's not actually happening. And people seem to actually live longer in many Asian countries. And we got the whole crew here. We got Leon Green with sauce all over his face. We got Grandpa. Right, so let's get home. I'm going to show you guys. Wow, he really does have children. It's not pets. Um... I was hoping because uh, having children is great in itself, of course, um, awesome, but uh, he's gonna have a very short life. Uh He's not going to be around for his children, for sure. Okay, I can't lie. I don't have any idea how this guy can spit out the most utter bullshit that I've ever heard and then go on to literally hit the nail on the head with how some bodybuilders are. Uh, again, I don't know Eric all too well, and I don't know his drugs or his safety protocols or if he's doing regular blood work analysis like he should. So this very well could not apply to him, which he seems like a very thoughtful guy with the interactions I've seen of him with other people. So I wouldn't think that he's a abusive or necessarily doing anything that's going to lead to his death. But I will say that it is an extremely truthful statement and we see it all too often. People passing away that have had children because of bodybuilding. Putting bodybuilding first in front of the children, leading themselves down a path of really shittiness. If he continues, if he would completely change his life now, sure, but uh, that's probably not going to happen realistically. Even if he won't be competing uh, with pro bodybuilders, so to speak, pro body destroyers, then uh, he will still probably continue working out. Those kind of people usually don't stop except if something extreme happens and even then usually they don't stop they can get a heart attack and they won't stop they will simply get surgery and maybe slightly change their diet not realizing that it's the working out itself that's doing it it's not even about the drugs so much even though that's super bad of course and the worst part of his lifestyle well goddess you had me there for a fucking moment before you completely wind in the dumpster i mean you you did a 180 with some decent credit but now all of it is literally you you maxed out your credit bro <laughs> Enough! It's fucking gone. What the fuck? It is insane that there's any human out there that can sell you there is no good exercise. Exercising is bad for you. It's harmful for you. The amount of benefits that resistance training has is very clearly displayed in a lot of very clear clinical research that are double-blinded placebo-controlled trials. Very clear in sense of a cognitive function, bone mineral density, insulin sensitivity, organ function. Generally, it's good for your whole body, even when compared to something like cardiovascular activity. It's actually incomprehensible that people would still have this idea that it's somehow lesser than doing anything else. So I have right here meal number, I guess technically four. White rice, arsenic, carbohydrates, which are sugar, nothing else, um, garbage slave food, zucchini, slave fruit has nothing, only pesticides on the outside. Why do you eat a uh, chicken breast? Uh, just chicken breast, no fat. Uh, again, that's slave food. The tomatoes are not found like that in nature. It's a nightshade, could be problematic long term. You shouldn't overconsume nightshades, especially for your gut and then sauerkraut, just fermented cabbage with salt. <laughs> now we're going back to this guy completely fear-mongering every single food he lays his eye on and using terms like slave food, dude. I love, I think it's pure comedy. I'm saying, you know, offense, brother, I'm just saying. Oh, offense taken. What? 
<sighs> there is nothing inherently wrong about these foods. Sure, they're not the most nutritious foods, but at a certain point in bodybuilding, you have to weigh nutritional value with calorie intake. And sometimes the nutritional value of things starts to dwindle a little bit as calories get a little bit more slim. But in this case, there's not really that, like this food is not bad. It's probably healthier than what 99.9% .9 of the human population is consuming on a daily basis. So I think it's ridiculous to point out something as simple as tomatoes isn't cut up in nature so you shouldn't eat it like that what the fuck seriously what the fuck are you doing making arguments like this is just so stupid because i would have to expect that godis butchers his own animals gets raw vegetables and fruits and just eats them that way doesn't do any preparation and just is living off the ground homie all because he's scared of some innocuous kind of cancer that may or may not happen well there's about a chance or a ratio that's almost so insignificant you could call it basically useless this meal ends up being about 50 grams of protein, about 40 grams of carbs, and like 3 grams of fat. No, how do you not understand that you destroy the protein when you cook the meat, especially when you cook it that much with carcinogens all over it? Such strange people out there. You would think that these people at least understand something about the food that they eat, seeing as it's so important for them, although at the same time, for him specifically, no, because he's relying on the drugs completely. It wouldn't really matter what he eats. And you can see that because he mostly eats complete garbage, some kind of vegetables and fruits, which don't even exist in nature. They have nothing to do with building muscle. He just eats them because he's brainwashed. Cooking protein destroys all the protein, eh? Yeah, I'm convinced this guy has to be eating all of his food raw if he's saying stuff like this. Look, for the record, if you cook your protein, yes, some of those proteins are going to denature. This is a true statement, but the small fraction of them that do is quite really insignificant for what it does to our digestive tract. We can then digest that cooked protein a lot better and it's a lot more safe. The circumventation of great big brains in the human mind of over or evolutionary period was really tied with being able to cook meats and simultaneously as we were able to cook meats our brains grew and developed in size likely because meats became more accessible to everyone and you could actually eat them without dying you are still overall consuming the same amino acids because for cooking to void all protein content it would have to simply deny the simple basic laws of physics and specifically the conservation of mass, or it would be some absurd atomic reaction that simply just won't fucking happen when you put a chicken filet in a fucking pan and cook it. Look, we've covered 10 minutes of content and you can pretty much tell right away that Godis is quite literally delusional. Are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? But there's more to this story that just perplexes me as almost every person we talk about starts to perplex me at a certain point. Godis even went to the hospital with with some sort of infectious disease in his brain from eating raw meat. And during his time in the hospital, the hospital tried to prepare him food so that he didn't fucking die of starvation. So what does Godis do? Well, he starts to claim that he's going to cannibalize the doctors because they're trying to feed him something with potatoes on it. I was uh, quite mad at these doctors there because they were giving me this carbohydrate shit and uh, there's a lot of stuff going wrong there. And that's why I actually wanted to just bite one of them and eat them. He also preaches traditional values, and I'm a big fan of that. I love a family household. I really do. But he has literally abandoned his wife, his kids, and his friends, all to just travel the world. He has quite literally stabbed someone and been involved in many physical altercations all over the world, and he has been physically and verbally abusive to his wife, some of which was actually caught on camera. Help! Help! That was Diane being hit nine times with a nightstick before being choked against the wall with it followed by the man pouring acid over her. And on top of all this, he does streams, which you would think as a carnivore advocate, someone who thinks meats should be eaten and only meats, has been eating vegetables and fruits on his own fucking streams. Oh, also, he stabbed his classmate in high school and then dropped out of school. And his past girlfriends before his wife came out to say very similar things about him, that he's been abusive, verbally abusive, and physically assaulting. The guy is definitely not all there. 
and he has some major personality disorders. I mean, psychopathic levels of personality disorders. He is a liar, a grifter, and someone who just tries to say radical things for a bit of altercation in the comments and some more algorithmic attention for views. Which, hey, I'm all about it, you know? I'm all about it. Everyone gets worked up when I post some shit, and usually it helps me out, because the more comments I get, the more views I seem to get on videos. And so when there's people arguing about, I said this, I said that, or whatever, I'm just like, let's troll some more, boys, and get those comments flowing. I'll make you rain all day long. Because it works, and obviously he's hacked that system for himself, because his followers, some of his dearest, are funding his travels, are funding his lifestyle, and they believe in everything he has to say. And at the bare minimum, we could call Gotis an extremist of many different things, but most of all, a delusional extremist. Now, if you like this video, like my other videos, I would really appreciate if you could leave a comment down below, and while you're down there, if you could just do me the easiest and most solid favor in the world, click the subscribe button. It really does help YouTube say, hey, this content is deemable as good, and we can put it into the algorithm. That stuff helps me, and it's free to you. Now, if you want to even take it a step further, we do have a paid Discord, which has unlimited access to myself and many other top coaches within the bodybuilding and fitness space. If you need help with pharmacology and other things like that in your country and where it's illegal, we can do that for you on that Discord right now. So make sure you click the link below. And in other words, I recommend watching one of my other videos. And keep consuming, 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 consuming my videos, consuming.